Hey guys, it's Elena. I've been doing a series of videos called Create with Intuition where I've been using the same art journal in Procreate and starting a new page each month. But I've had a couple questions from people on how to do that and it's quite simple so I just wanted to make a very quick little video to show you how I did that. Here is the art journal that I've been working on and you can see that I have Page Assist turned on down here and I've got all the pages of my art journal in this little timeline down here at the bottom. And then when you go up to the layers, you can see that each of these pages is actually a folder. And within that folder, I have a couple of layers. So I wanted to show you how I've done this. It's really quite simple. So let's dive right into that. So the first step is to set up your canvas. I've got Procreate open here, and I'm just going to create a new canvas with the plus button here. You can choose any size that you like, but I recommend starting with an iPad sized canvas, or for some reason, my go-to size is always 3000 by 2000, but you can just hit this little button here to choose whatever size that you want to make. So for me, I'm just gonna go 3000 by 2000 and I'm going to set my DPI to 300. And something to keep in mind here as well, for the art journal, I wouldn't recommend going to a really big size because depending on how much memory your iPad has, you might have a very small limit of layers here. So you can kind of play around with the size that you want your journal to be and what maximum layers you get out of that. So I have one of the newer iPads, so I have quite a lot of layers available here, but if you have an older iPad, it might be that you only have 20 layers available. Or something like that. So it's always kind of an interplay between how big you can make your canvas versus how many layers you can have on your specific iPad. So I do recommend making it as big as you can because you might make some art in this journal that you absolutely love and you want to print. So that's why I make mine 300 dpi and as big as I can but not super big so that I still have space for a lot of layers. That was a lot of explanation, but that's that's basically the gist of that. So it's really up to you and it's up to how big your iPad is and how many layers you're going to have in this journal. So I'm just gonna hit create. And actually I could have named that. It's called Untitled Artwork. And you can see down here, this is my Create with Intuition Art Journal. So if you want to name that, you could have done it on the previous screen or you can also do it from gallery view. So I'm gonna write visual journal here. So now we've got this named, we've got the size and we've just got a blank layer here. The next thing that you want to do is to turn on Page Assist. We just go up here to the gear icon and it's under Canvas. You see we've got all these different options here, but you just wanna tap Canvas and then tap Page Assist. And as soon as I did that, you can see that this popped up at the bottom. So now we have this one single layer has turned into a page on our page assist. And you can see there's a button that says new page here. And that has made two pages. These are obviously both blank. So I'm just gonna actually scribble a bit. I've got my alcohol inks open like that. Okay, so now you can see that I've got two different pages here. And then when you go up here, you can see they're in two different layers. And when I tap those layers here, it also switches to the page. So it's really that simple. You can get fancy like I did with my other journal. If you wanna have more than one layer in the same page, then all you have to do is group them. So I've highlighted both of these and I just hit group and boom, those are all in the same page now. If I undo that, now we've got separate layers again. So a, a page is either a layer or a group of layers. So I hope that this was helpful to anyone looking to create a journal and procreate and thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.